Hey guys, it's Bill from Competition Cars. It is Tuesday morning, and uh, we got a, a day in so far on this Olds 98 1970. I wanted to do a video specifically on the engine bay. Normally I'll do the engine bay interior and the uh, trunk all in one, but I got a comment that I didn't wasn't really crazy about, and I wanna to explain to you what we do and why we do it on these cars. Now, somebody made a comment about a very sloppy engine bay. Somebody went crazy with flat black. The, the blue looks terrible, it's super sloppy, blah, blah, blah. Well, I, thought, I think that was an uncalled comment. Guys saying, I'm not bidding on the car because, because the engine bay. I guess, I guess it's too detailed for them, I don't know. But anyway, here's what we do. We, we thoroughly clean these engine bays, okay? What retains its original luster, whether it's a bracket or a clamp or an inner fender well or a firewall, if it's retained its original luster, we leave it alone. If it hasn't, we try to go back with the original finish and refinish it so it looks fresh and clean. Now, that's not to hide rust. You cannot hide rust. You can't just paint over a bubbly, rusty, flaky piece of metal. So I'm not sure you know, what you, how you guys rate this engine bay, but I think it looks pretty damn good for a 50 year old car, 50 year, over 50 year old car that's not been, you know, professionally restored. Um, another thing, overspray. These cars had from the factory overspray on the manifold. Sometimes there was some overspray on a hose or a, a line. So anyway, you know, we take a lot of time and effort to try to make these cars look as new as possible. And you gotta realize a 50 year old engine bay that hasn't been washed in forever is gonna look dingy and dirty. So we take the best of our ability to, to clean them in detail and bring it back to as clean and new and as, as nice as, and looking as possible. Because the last thing you want to do is have a nice car, nice clean paint, nice clean interior, nice trunk uh, bay area, and then open the hood and have 50 years worth of dirt and grime. So again, I mean, is this a concourse show car? No, it's absolutely not. But again, for someone to say it's a sloppy engine bay and overspray everywhere, I don't know what, what I don't know. I disagree. So. This is why we do these things. Also, someone made a comment, and he was very polite about it, asked about the undercarriage. So these cars from the factory, many times, or from the original dealer, had, had undercoating sprayed on them. And if you've ever tried to remove 50-year-old undercoating, good luck, you're not gonna do it. So we, we clean the best we can, and then we'll, we'll put another fresh light coat of undercoating on it. But you can see how smooth, I mean, there's no rust under here. There's no, you can't just hide rust. I mean, it's, it's, it's impossible. There's nothing flaky, nothing rusty, no, no, nothing bubbly. We, we treat the undercarriage the same way. Again, 50 years of the, of the engine bay and undercarriage being exposed to the elements. But look at the frame rail. It's perfect. The floor plant pan's perfect. Yeah, they have some paint or undercoating on them, but that's, that's not to hide anything. That's just to make it look clean and fresh and, and get rid of the surface grime and whatever surface light corrosion it might be on it. So that's the purpose of this video. Again, if you're looking for a, a concourse car that's perfect, this is not your car. If you want a nice driver plus quality car and you can appreciate the work and the effort we put into it, then this is your car. So just uh, bid accordingly. Um, and you know, again, I'm, I'm, I, I don't mind criticism, but you know, I just don't like irresponsible comments either. So this is what we got. Like it or not, this is what you have. If you don't like it, you can move on and find another car. But um, that's just the way it is. And I'm a very easygoing guy, but it just ticks me off. To, I, put, I put a lot of effort into these cars to be criticized over something that, that people see publicly uh, on, a, on, a, on a comment thread. So there it is, guys. Use your judgment. And uh, any questions, put them in the comment section. Thanks.